Hello and welcome to day two of the Kenya Hockey Union Master Series 2 that is being held right here in Nairobi, Kenya. My name is uh, George Njuguna. I will be your commentator for the day alongside uh, other commentators. Uh, that is uh, Boka and one more person that we might get eventually. So today we have several eight games in total to be played uh, this day the first uh, match that was played in the morning was uh, between kisumu masters and impala veterans we'll be letting you know the scores in just a bit and then we have on the pitch right now that is going on this is green sharks masters playing on was alendo masters was alendo are in green the green uh, tops and black uh, shorts and skirts uh, for green sharks, it's the white tops with black uh, shorts and scarves. The game is currently on, it's just begun. Today there's a bit of changes. Every quarter will be 15 minutes and not 20 minutes as it was yesterday. And uh, that is how it will be uh, going today. After this, after that, we'll have the playoff number. 15 that will be Packard Lions taking on Blue Ocean Chiefs uh, right here that will be the first semi-final that will be played and then we'll have Sikh Union Nairobi taking on Nakuru Masters uh, the second semi-final that will be played today and then later on we'll have uh, the seventh and eighth position then we'll have the fifth and sixth position then we'll have the third and fourth and then lastly, we have the finals, which uh, we will get to know who it is. Um, right now, it's Green Sharks Masters taking on uh, Impala Veterans. That is uh, kicked, that has just kicked off right now. Still, the results are nil-nil. And that is the game that is uh, playing on. I'll be letting you know who is uh, playing this game, even as we go on with the tournament. Green Sharks get the first uh, PC. That ball doesn't look like it's gone outside, but uh, eventually it's gone out. And there it is. It's a 16 ball. Went out by just an inch. Looking at uh, Green Sharks, this is the squad that they have today. They have uh, Nixon Nyanganga, then we have Lawrence Odiambo, we have Lynette Onyango, Kenneth Magusi, who is the goalkeeper. And then we have John Maraga, who's the captain of the team. We have Doreen Baraza, Edwin Otieno, John Marco Tiato, Lucy Puo, who got injured yesterday. So I haven't seen her today, but she's still in the lineup. Then we have Masi, Onyango, and Collins, Olo, who are for that side. Uh, Green Sharks, or rather was a Lendo. We have uh, James Were. Kevin Kuria, Gabriel Onkundi, Doris Kirui, we have Joa Bondiro, we have ba Odanga Barak, then we have Wisley Fombori, uh, we have uh, Glenn Namasake, Barbara Simini, we have Evans Wagando, and then we have Eric Ketel for the uh, Wazalendo Hockey Club. This is kind of a derby. <laughs> Because these sides have, these people have played against each other, the other teams that is of Orlando and Green Sharks uh, before, uh, or even for the ladies they have played for the different side. Because I can see sliders and um, lasers, or before that they used to be called Telcom. That was the name of the squad. But uh, the game is on. 
Nita Gunda, the ball picked up by Washira. Washira fads it to Samuel Musheke. There's a foul at the Tito. So it's Ondero starts again. Scoops it. Barbara gets it. The Viambo is pushes it forward. Edwin gets it and just intercepts it. Samuel Musheke is shown up today for his team. That's a foul with Mixer. There's a pass, but Anita intercepts it. Ball is wants to make its way inside the D, but uh, it's been intercepted out. So question out. Lendo with the Lynette, or rather Green Sharks with the Lynette. Samuel Musheke looking for Masi. Except uh, on the pass, come to look for Anita, but they win it back. And uh, go up. Get in touch with us on uh, the comment section on where you are watching this match from. Even as we watch this game live and we are going to read your comments as we go on Gabriel but this gets it and dribbles it out of the deep at the raised ball. Samuel and Sheke. Sheke took back to Ashira. It's pushed up. As Elena got it back. Gabriel passes it down to DC. DC to Anita. Anita inside the circle but gets out. A 16 ball quickly started by this quickly intercepted by Glenn someone who shake a gut sit and passes this to a do a do tries to get it to Nixon but uh, Joe Bondiro intercepts it okay Oh, 
Shout out to Onyango, Masi. Tries to get it in, but uh, it's intercepted. Out. Nyango trying to go for the ball, but uh, Mashira is uh, fouled. Uh, it's, it's actually Anita who is fouled. Mashira quickly to Msheke, Samuel. Edu. Shoke back to the boot. Pushes it in okay. for Lynette. But Lynette misses to get it. It's a 16 ball. Not a 16 ball, it's a long corner. Quickly started by Abu and Musheke. Passed down to Washira. Back to Musheke. Makes a curve. Passes it to Nixon. Nixon tries to get it in. Goes down, but a uh, foul is given. Wazalendo, Nicliff Ongori with the mosh. Push it up. Uh, mosh gets it. This rather gets it. Yungu. Masi, Masi to Nixon. Nixon cuts it across to Msheke. The old Msheke would have quickly gone into the D. <laughs> so has to push it, but uh, he's fouled, so they get a short corner. Thank <laughs> you. 
Scores are nil nil. Green Sharks are nil. Ozalendo Masters nil. This is the second quarter of this tournament, of this match. Msheke goes down but quickly stands up. They get another PC. Seven more matches to be played today to conclude the tournament. And Diro quickly scoops it away. DC. So foul. Odiambo quickly starts it out. Passes it to Msheke. Msheke. Fouls on Diro. <laughs> the game quickly starts. Check out the ball to the Ambo Masi, the Nyango Masi. Mazaleno pass it down to the left side of the ball. Looking for Anita. Anita looking for Wycliffe. Wycliffe gets it into the D2. Flick. Sharks are contesting the penalty spot. But nonetheless, Both teams are calling, the captains are calling uh, their teammates. Wonder what uh, Anita, who's the captain for Azalendo, is discussing with them. They have won it, so looks like they're ready to go for it. But uh, let's wait and see. But it's a flick, that's what will be taken. I think that's Elias Sura who's on goal. Weekly Fongori is going to take the flick.
yesterday was very charged, but today it seems like um, they're very obedient to the umpires. It's a goal. Mozalendo are fast to score. The ball is back to the middle of the pitch to be started by was uh, started by Green Sharks, one nil. And to level the scores, pass it down to this. This looking for a do on the far left side of your screens. Try to bring the ball back in, but uh, couldn't go anywhere. Quickly started once again. Samuel Mushake. Shida Edu in one one flick by Wickley Fongori and now beautiful push by Edu for Green Sharks Hockey Club. Back to the middle, started by DC to Glenn. There's Alendo, Glenn Namasaka in the midfield, down to Anita. Shira quickly intercepts a ball. Foul awarded to a share of green shots. Quickly started by Samuel Msheke. looks a bit injured but uh, stands up the game is started again Masi tries to intercept it but, uh, intercept it but misses green sharks get the ball by this uh, this to Nixon I like the way they're moving as a pack. When they're going back, they go back. When they're going up, they go up. Especially the midfield. Ashira, Odu. Lynette misses it once again. <laughs> That's the second time she has missed. Opportunities. If there was cause, if Green Sharks would be leading by three goals, perhaps two from Lynette. Ball quickly started.
Zalendo win a foul. Anita quickly gets it. Turns it back to his defense. I do. Of green shots to Ashira. Ashira looking for Lynette. Green Sharks are protesting a foul, but the ball goes on to their side. Quickly intercepted by Bosch. <laughs> Calmly passes it down to Mshake. Mshake to Masi. Omosh. They're not allowed to hit in this game, so. <laughs> The defender it gets really tough in a situation where you have two players you can hit but you can't. Ashira to this. Back to Msheke. Msheke making his way into the D. Gets into the D. Dribbling. Couldn't get past Barbara, but they get a foul. Penalty corner, to be precise. Is it the fourth or the fifth penalty corner? Again, protesting a back stick. We have been given a penalty corner. <laughs> they wanted a flick because of the back stick. Son goes to get the ball. To push it. Let's go on. Feeble. But Mosheka quickly goes for it. Mosheka falls down but uh, awarded. Masi being told to go to start the ball where the foul was. Ashira, I do, and uh, that's a Sharks are protesting a foul. But uh, it's uh, another half time. Let me tell you about our sponsors ICEA Lion Group. Then we have uh, I. ASL and then we have Hockey KE who are the official media partners in this tournament. Let's take another short break. This is halftime. Let's take a break and then when we come back we'll continue with the third 
and the fourth quarters of this game. Your comments coming let me read uh, two which i've seen on the screen number one is alvin wasonga who says greenish <laughs> green sharks finish this team <laughs> and the D kasungu who says uh, very impressive keep the comments coming and we're going to read them uh, as and when i receive them and i have an opportunity to read and then as we continue with this uh, uh, leak. I am seeing three umpires go in, so I'm wondering what's four umpires going in. So I think it's going to be a runoff or uh, something else. But uh, let me wait and see if I can get my producers to give me a direction of. Yeah, looks like it's a shootout that is coming up in this first second playoff for this uh, uh, tournament. Even as I bring in uh, Boca, who has scored a goal today and is here, grab a seat and then come sit next to me. <laughs> even as we talk about this uh, tournament, keep those messages coming. We are going to read them as we go on the teams are going to go into playoffs after two quarters I'm going to let get the team the players who are going to take the shootouts in this game even as we Go on. This tournament has been sponsored by Hoki KE, who are the official media partners. We have IASL and we have ICA Lion Group. The weather accommodates them. And it's pretty nice. Boka Karibo. Ah, I think it's going to leave with this. This is going for the first uh, shootout. We are able to see a lot of our uh, skills. Mm -hmm. Predicaments. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, this looks calm yeah but the goalkeeper was calmer than this <laughs> <laughs> and therefore the goalkeeper gets an upper hand and is able to save the first penalty corner from the from the green shark side 
and uh, now was a little have a time to get an advantage. Let's see what Ondiro has for us. Really Asura is on goal. One one. But uh, yeah, yeah. but remember, uh -huh. Asura is still playing for Green Sharks yes. at the Premier League. Yes. So he has a nice reflex, and I hope uh, he is uh, in for the ta task. The goalkeeper for Green Shark for Wazalendo is called Odaga Odaga Barak. At Samuel Musheke. Ha ha. Yeah. At Samuel Musheke. He is back. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hell of a skill, man. <laughs> if I was in the post. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> That is it's total mayhem uh -huh. and uh, Green Sharks have uh, an advantage. But uh, let's see what uh, the Secretary General Senior Hockey Union. <laughs> Mr. Weekly from Gori will yes. be having for us. Very skillful, very calm. But this, this time round, the goalkeeper is always calmer than Weekly from Gori. <laughs> <laughs> One nil is the score. That's the last one. This is uh, an Olympian. His name is Bosch. Bosch. I don't know why he loves jazz number 19. I don't know why, but let's see what Bosch has for us. Straight up. Ah. It shows why he's an Olympian. <laughs> the calmness, the ability to take it in a short span of a time, and Green Sharks won the playoffs, won the game. Those are 2-0 two, two after going 1-1 one, one on, uh, on the normal game. He's one of the most... Uh, the decisive games and Green Sharks are coming up on top to Azalendo who felt a shot in the shootout uh, side and our next game will be one of the most entertaining which will be Park Road playing against uh, the Blue Oceans in a sh short while
two Oceanic Chiefs playing against Parkrod Lions, donning in the red kit. Blue Oceanic Chiefs in their favorite Sima kit in grey in color. Parkrod Lions will be playing. These are players for the Parkrod Lions Anthony Goto. Gilbert Momata, Cyrus Kanyi, William Okech, Caroline Mbwaya, Mika Mitoto, Nicholas Weganjo, Paul Miango, Bernard Waweru, Tobias Owar, Molly Atieno, David Omoka, and Bernard Mingi, captain by Cyrus Kanyi. On the first start, and on the first goal, is Jogu John. It was a fast, but this time round the referee says there was a foul before and the score stays at Park Road Lions 1-0, Blue Oceanic Chief 0, Blue Oceanic Chief team, Conrad Sika, Chisanya, Sarah Anyango, Esther Mwikali, Alice Ososi, Stephen Boaz Otieno, Patrick Maloa, Anthony Ouma Amalwa, Brenda Nafula Wangila, Kennedy Kialo, Austin Otieno Oluoch, Friday Matthew, Catherine Mulwa, Joshua Njogu, Bill Olang, Amos Simali, Faran Khan, jo James Ochuka, Daniel Kibaba Siboe, Obed Ototo, Peter Gaituma. near the top circle but uh, due to the tactical ability of Blue Oceanic Chiefs giving the ball to John Jogu being able to manipulate a foul against the counterpart from uh, Park Road Lions Farhan Khan on the ball has cooked wide looking for Friday Matthew into the circle to Esther Esther back but the, that was a nice save by the goalkeeper of uh, Park Road, Anthony. David, with the ball, fast, swimming the pass, but it's well picked, nicely picked by Farhan Khan, into the center of the field, Conrad. Ocheng on the ball, wide, to John Jogu, into the post, but it's well saved again by Anthony. Anthony who's the goalkeeper for the back road side who has been uh, playing his trademark of hockey for the first second century at the back road club. A nice feed by Ochie, but it's uh, deflected off the baseline by the back road defender. Into the support, calmly connected. Willis to care. Inside, far wide. Acceleration. Nice dribble. Past one, two, to a back pass. Back road is still on the ball, but is calmly connected by Antonio Amalwa to Friday Matthew. Matthew to Jogu. Jogu looking wide for Siboy into the final third in a nice circle penetration but is calmly connected by David. It will be a battle for who to play in the next uh, round of teams. Matthew Friday stimulating a nice 
foul, almost near the, the top circle, ball, nicely connected by Sheen. Antonio Mara waiting for the ball. Inside, but he tries for Matthew. Matthew looking for Siboy. Siboy on the ball, why? Esther Mikali who calmly collects the ball into the circle. Nice pass and a nice goal. That was a nice goal from Conrad. For the Blue Oceanic Chiefs who are now leading with a goal against their counterpart from Park Road Lions who seems to have soaked in but will be able to Wait and see what Miregi has for us, Gina. for the Park Road Lions. Gina. Remember, these are the Masters series, the second series at Nairobi City Park Stadium. Keo, trying to look for Marilu. Past one, two, three, laying off a pass on the far right. Nice. Circle injection, but well saved by the goalkeeper Brenda Nangila. Back road seeming to trying to put the pace down. A ball is hit by Madilu, but it's a race ball and it's penalized for that. Farhan Khan on the ball, looking wide to Friday Matthew, holding onto the ball, Friday Matthew. Friday Matthew with a one-on-one -on -one with Madilu, but this time round is well picked by OT. OT. OT wide to John Jogu. John Jogu. John Jogu moving, accelerating the final third, miss pass, miss, giving a miss pass. Collected by Marilu, who in turn loses the ball to Friday Matthew inside the circle, well saved by Dide. It's a battle in the midfield. Both teams look, are trying to search on the win. But our current score, Blue Oceanic Chiefs leading by a solitary goal against their counterparts from Park Road Lions. Friday Matthew, who has been dominating in the midfield for the Blue Oceanic Chiefs. One on one, today, patient, trying to look for Mikali, but in turn, David. Gets the ball and the season as a foul. Maybe the first ball to William. But the referee says he didn't stay five yards and the foul is thrown back to David. Still on the ball. Did he? First pass from David to Willie Williams. Why it is Mighty Lou? Mighty Lou is given the ball. Stopped calmly. Our nice one, two into the final part but this time round John Jogu with the ball pass to Siboe who in turns look for Conrad Conrad in the final third still on the ball Conrad looking for Friday Matthew Friday Matthew nice pass on the second third but it's missed by Conrad. Friday Matthew. In the, in the, into the circle, but it's cleared. Although there was infringement from Dide and the umpire Gina Agunda.
giving a penalty corner to the Blue Oceanic side, who has been who have been uh, on high conversion rate with their talisman Farhan Khan coming in. I'm trying to look if I can see Oti, who is the famously known six topper for the Blue Oceanic side. Jogu. Nice pick stop. Nice stop. But this time round the ball goes wide as Backward Lions starting the ball on a fast north to Manilu. Manilu near the center. Accelerating into the final third. One on one bit with Bill Olang. Intent picking the ball. Bill Olang looking for Matthew. Matthew Friday. I always look at Matthew and say, it's called Matthew Friday, and I hope he was born on Friday, because it's the day he loves making his funny moves, curves, into the hockey ground at the City Park Hockey Stadium. Remember, this game is brought to you live, courtesy of Kenya. Hockey KE at the live at the Facebook pages of Kenya Hockey Union, media partner Hockey KE. Defending Karl Matak from Park Road, who in this game against the Blue Oceanic Chiefs are looking so calm into the final third. But the Blue Oceanic Chiefs, who are in the final third, with almost all their players, apart from one, Esther Mikali, who is also a good goal scorer. For them, David on the ball, but Maloa managing to keep the ball. Anthony Mamalwa wonders why he has been penalized, but the referee. Titus Ngolia was on point on that. Ke Kenya Hockey Union Masters Tournament Series 3 will be held in Mombasa in August 4th on the first weekend of October. Remember our sponsors ICEA Lion Group, IS, IASR, Hockey KE, will be there to cover for you that event. A nice short corner created by Mikali Esther for the Blue Oceanic Chiefs and the Empire Tina Agunda 
seemingly to have no doubt about the penalty corner. This is the work of umpires. Guiding. Giving up fouls. Against and onto the foul. That was a nice that feel by Farankan, but the goalkeeper Anthony Igoto, who has been Richard. on a high end for the back road lions, saving the ball wide. See you right after a short break. Alive. Back on Park Road Lions versus Blue Oceanic Chiefs. Into their, deep into their house. Down, this boy. Holding onto the ball. It's Kialo. He's at the final pass, but the ball is missed by Esther. Well intercept by Freddie Matthew. Trying to make a dummy, but the ball is missed. He's taken. William Okero into the same center. Nice dribble by Madino. Still holding on the ball, but this time round, there was an infringement by Anthony from the Blue Oceanic side. Remember the scores of the game. Blue Oceanic Chiefs, one. Backwood Lions, zero. This is one of the best games.
games. DJ picking the ball, leak into the defensive side. Nice pass. Nice rebound by Luis. For an angel shown inside the final turn of the Pakron Masters side. Penalty corner. Chie. Nice six stop. And a nice grab by Farhan Khan. But it's well saved by the goalkeeper. Nicely picked up by. William, okay, you're leaving someone on the ground, on a duster basis. Our sponsors, Hockey KE, IC Lion Group, ISR. Not forgetting the game is brought to you live and the Kenya Hockey Union Facebook page and YouTube pages live. Cut us off. Hockey on the Master Series 2 live from City Park Stadium. 2023 Masters Hockey Edition. Blue Oceanic Chiefs 1. Backroad Lions zero. Remember, Backroad Lions are looking for their fast progress into the semi-finals since the establishment of the Master Series in 2022. Esther Mikali, nice pass, but the pass. Is calmly collected by Freddie Matthew, who seems to be so speedy. You can easily doubt the edge of Freddie Matthew, but I believe he's quite formidable, quite to the standards of the Master Series. Hello. Nice injection, but it's calmly picked by DD. DDY trying to look for a forward pass but is calmly collected by Farhan Khan who is just walking at the center of the midfield. Nice injection and nice deflect. Esther Mikari is still on the ball but this time round the ball was faster than Esther Mikali of Blue Oceanic Chiefs who are leading with a solitary goal against their counterparts from Park Road Lions. Nice game. Infringement. Everybody waves. Play on. Into the final part. Nice pass. Nice collection. But this same round, the goalkeeper, Brendan Angila was on top. Managing to save that one for a corner in favor of Backroad Lions. Fast pass. <laughs> and that's the 
a nice equalization from back road via Madilu, who has been in a good form coming into this tournament. Very happy. If I can try to look at the clip so closely, I found out that it's Paul Mihango, famously known as Apache, who has gone against the Blue Oceanic Chiefs, past the goalkeeper Brenda Tangila, into the final third, this time round, and they're equalizing it almost immediately. That was... Conrad, Conrad scoring it for Blue Oceanic Chiefs. Almost immediately after Paul Miango Apache scoring for the Patron Lions. The game has just started. I do believe Madilu Mirigi, Okeo, Dide. A heartbroken by that almost immediately school. Still on the ball. But this time round, Sarah taking the ball. OT. One on one OT. Marilu coming in hard. And the Baritina Abunda taking control of the team. Talking to Remember the Russian Chiefs into the final part. David against Conrad Esther Mikali into the sample. Everybody waiting for a play on. And that was a fantastic game by goalkeeper Anthony Igoto for Park Road Dials. The defense of the back road lions staying strong against the steady attacks of Friday Matthew and John Jogu. Jogu, wide, still onto the ball. Esther Mikali, still Esther on the ball, trying to go again, again past Dide, but this time round, Dide says no to any Meregi inside but the ball finds here <laughs> Anthony Mamaro into the final class nice that was a nice game a, ni a, ni a nice uh, stretch but not to anyone Madilu Matthew Friday, Matthew Friday, still moving, one on one, Matthew, still holding on to the ball, Matthew, still on the ball, laying the ball, past wide, but there was a, an obstruction and the referee, Jaita Sibolia, close for a but you saw in a shot. You can make it out of the shot. But you can make it out of the shot. But you can make it out of the shot. Nicely won by Jogu. Giving it to Ochen. Ochen back to go to Jogu. Smoe. Freddy Matthew. But it's nice to work by William. To Manilu. At the center of the military. Manilu still on the ball. Manilu. Trying to look for Miregi. But this time the ball was faster than Miregi. But in turn, it was an infringement by Maloa. Still, Madilu on the ball.
Sei Farrakhan, how did we start in the 60s? A nice pick, but this time round, it was a race ball. Madilu, why? To Mirigi. But Mirigi in turn deflected the ball off the baseline. And a 16 along a, pen, a long corner to the back road down side. Madilu on the ball. Far wide. Nice deflect. But a race ball. And the umpire Tina Agunda is so firm in making decisions. Making the best out of it. Remember, you can catch us live from the Kenya Hockey Union Facebook page and YouTube pages. That was a nice battle between Sarah David while to William. William bringing the ball to Marilu. Marilu against Farankan. Farankan reflecting the ball off the best line. And the Ampatina Zula says it's a long corner. Mirigi giving the ball. For a fast touch. Still banner on the ball. For Flacco Nile. Giving it to William. Trying for a circle. Injection, but this time round, it's well and calmly collected by Boy. Coming to the end of this game, remember the Master Series is proudly sponsored by ICEA Lion Group. I -A SR Hoki KE that are working in partnership to bring this game live to you on the Facebook page of Kenya Hockey Union and YouTube pages at the Master Series 2023 as we come to the end of this game. Blue Oceanic Chiefs 2. Backlord Lions 1. See you right for the next game. That will be played. Sick Union. Against <laughs> Nakuru Masters, this one, this one will be a nice battle of two teams who are used to scoring a lot of goals. Let's wait and see what will be happening in the next few minutes.
Hello and welcome to this is the semi-final. You're the one in the pit, so you tell me. Yes. And we have two masters teams that have uh, qualified, the Simba Union and also the Nakuru Masters. My name is George Chukuna. And I'm Anita. What was, what was your team of the game yesterday between uh, Simba Union and uh, the game that has just ended between uh, Blue Ocean Chiefs, uh, the last match of the day yesterday? Um, last match of the day yesterday, the Simba unit appeared to be very composed. Yeah. They have a vast number of very composed and uh, professional players. Mm -hmm. And Nakuru has also, um, is it the Nakuru Masters? Nakuru Masters, Nakuru Masters no. have also had yes. a very, they have a very good squad, yes. large squad, very composed and they have synchrony, something mm -hmm. they've played together for seven series in a row. Yeah, and it's... Uh, it's very interesting. These these two teams are considered to be um, one of them is going to take uh, the series today, but they are meeting here in the semi-finals. So let's see who goes to the third place and uh, who goes for the third and fourth place, or who uh, and who goes to uh, you know the first place. But let's talk about our sponsors. We have IASL, who are sponsoring this uh, tournament. We also have ICEA Lion Group, and then we have Hockey KE, who, they are, who are the official media sponsors, uh, or rather partners, in this tournament. Okay, now I'm um, ready for action. I see the Simba Union have already, the Sikh Union have already deployed uh, their team. Very professional and highly highly senior players, ladies, Jackie, uh, Rose Mbulo and Jack, another Jackie. At the back there we have uh, Willie and Arif at the back and on the Nakuru side, well, it's also just equal opportunity. Terry playing a little bit of the center, we have Barnabas, we have James Mwangi there and also Gay Zach has started off. Um, as a striker. So it appears that they are going for a quick attack, yes. looking for early goals. To get early goals because this team is very swift and very fast. I'm looking for the name of the number 12 jersey for you. So the one that Sikin and the one with the ball right there. He's a very swift player. And uh, yesterday he scored very uh, amazing goals in this in this tournament, they won two, and I think uh, drew one. He's, he's off his phenomenon, he has very fast feet, yeah. and he also is very skillful. His name is Ajay. Ajay has actually proven to be a very key member of the Sikh Union when it comes to attack. Okay, missed opportunity there. Um, at, at the, he has 